All right, this is a long overdue video of a, uh, a second review of the custom 44 baseball gloves here. I did a video on this earlier of the customizing process. Now I want to talk about how it's how it is, how it's holding up, how it plays, how it broke in, all that good stuff. Break in was very good, easy, but that is also a sign of um, maybe not as good leather, which uh, I have also noticed that the leather just doesn't feel as good as a Wilson or a Rollins would. Still all right. I think this thing was like 200 bucks and some change, so that's half the price of what you get for Wilson and Rawlings. So I mean, that's to be expected. Doesn't feel as good, but it's still good. Very nice. It's still it's, it's held up pretty well. Really no issues with it other than maybe some of the colors like I got a the like shiny binding or whatever that like shiny whatever that is still there a little bit but it definitely wears off the more you use it the dirtier it gets this thing is this thing is dirty white was probably not the best idea that gets dirty real quick but the stamping in there you can still see i got the little crown stamping in there it's still it's still there stamping in the middle here 14 in the middle of the stamp, that's still good. The little snake over here is still good. The little snake skin. Leather, leather, snake, snake. Little breathable puncture holes in here. It doesn't feel any different than just a um, slab of leather wood. It's no different, just kind of the look of it being, you know, polka dotted pretty much. Solid glove though, I mean, all around. Breaks in easy. It's held its shape pretty good. I just do traditional. The 11 and a quarter inch, this is like the second baseman's. I am speed. Quick hands glove, you know what I mean? So, like I said, it doesn't feel as good as my A2000 does. It's getting a little cracked, but that's also because I didn't oil it as much and all that. But if you take care of this thing, I, I, I would figure it would last quite quite some time. No complaints, really. It's a, it's a solid glove for what it was, 200 plus something dollars. Don't really have too much bad about it to say, other than it just doesn't have that silky smooth leather feel. Silky smooth. That you get with the custom Rawlings and custom Wilsons. They have a lot of options you can do. They got a lot of weird things customizable, like the elephant skin patterns and all this weird stuff. They got a lot more options than the, the big, bigger names do. Way more customizable options for sure. Pretty good glove. I mean, like I said, it's holding up. Also, I gotta say, all right, probably don't put red on the inside because they have to dye that leather in there. And that's gonna come off on your hand. Look, I've had it on for three seconds and it's already kind of coming off on my hand. In the future, say with the natural colors on the inside of the glove, like black, tan, natural leather colors. I mean, and those are things that I messed up on, you know, that's, from a design aspect. If you were to design yours, that's what I would advise. Keep it natural on the insides. Pretty solid. I mean, that's pretty much it. I would say it's worth it. If you want to save a couple hundred bucks off the other big brand names, you know, this is the way to go, for sure. It was just worth a shot just to try it, but I was, I'm was i surprised at how good this one feels. You know, it's definitely better than, like, the cheap... Um, like A1000s and all those. Um, probably holds up about the same as like those Rawlings GG Elites or whatever. I don't have a, I've been rambling and saying the same thing. It's a pretty good glove. I'd say get you one. Save yourself the money off the big brands. Pretty solid. Alright, that's it. Go take grounders or something.